Welcome, I'm Anarchy, bringing you the chaos. I'm, uh, this is a Duck, he's bringing you a duck. And I'm uh, Goblin Green, and I'm, I'm here. And uh, we're here with our very first ever uh, comic book review. Rebirth, the one-shot, 80-page... Uh, spectacular. Spectacular comic. That's not Marvel, because it's a good comic. And uh, so we'll be going through it and talking about it. This is what starts off the universe. So we get a little, uh... Watch, uh, that watch. Watch. watch, oh my god. Yeah, it's similar, you know. He's got his thing. It's supposed to be kind of, I think, uh, uh, talking about... It's similar to the watches that Dr. Manhattan used to make. Yeah. So they got that similarity right there, and I've got to say, Watchmen being included in the DC Universe in some way is a positive for me. It's great. I'm a huge fan of Watchmen, so to see them included in the DC Universe, maybe not in the DC Universe, but some way included in the stories is awesome. I want issue 2 to come out. Okay. Uh, we get to see the world, a bunch of lightning hits. We're at Wayne Manor, of course. Naturally, we need the best character from DC to start us off. Oh, okay. Superman. Yeah, he's missing right now. So Superman's missing. He, I don't think he's dead yet. He's talking about the, the three, three Jokers. Three Jokers. There you go. He didn't know there's three Jokers. Uh, one is the Endgame Joker, one is the Killing Joke Joker, and one is like the 60s, Great, 70s amazing Joker. Great, Joker right there. And Batman's trying to figure out about this. And then Wally, and then Wally interrupts! Like, hey. Hi, how are you? He's like, hi, how are you? I'm Wally, Batman, do you remember me? And Batman's like, I don't know who you are, but I want to help you. Here's a letter from your dad. So the lightning pulls Wally back because Batman doesn't remember him and Wally continues on trying to find people because he's trying to hold on to this world, trying to grab on and Pull himself back. And he gets he an origin. To and he get a little origin. With he get a little origin with Wally. And yeah. yeah, it's yeah. We get to see Teen Titans and stuff, and how Wally became Flash from the original universe. He got the ring. And how he met his wife and got married and Flash. All the billions of Flashes. <laughs> then Flashpoint happened, which was a great series, and they should have kept going for longer. And uh, it changed, and they all lost five years of their life. By the way, Tom Wayne Batman's badass. <laughs> just say, just just say. And there's a bunch of And now we have a little section with the JSA. I think it's Jack and Thunder. Who is it? It is. I actually don't remember which what? one this is. Yeah, he says you have to start the Justice Society of America. This guy believes that he's in a, a fragmented timeline, which is true. I don't know how he knows that, but he does. And then Wally appears again. Yeah. yeah that's he's true. like, what's up, motherfuckers? Okay, I'm so Wally. it's Johnny. So his name is Johnny, yeah. So Johnny... Uh, my biggest question, uh, why isn't Wally black? <laughs> that is what he's supposed to be. <laughs> he's trying to just... Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not even Wally. Who would consider this Wally? This isn't the Wally that I know. This isn't the one I grew up with. <laughs> Here you go. Good job, good job. Some ginger fuck. <laughs> okay, keep it, keep it similar. So yeah, his name is Thunderbolt or whatever. And he Captain gets taken Thunder. away. He has to build the Just Society. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, we get the yeah. Legion of Superheroes. The, the ring. Guy, the ring from Legion of Superheroes, which is cool. They're thrown in the. He's an old bitch. This is from the Adam. He's Ray Palmer's like assistant. Yeah. And he has to become an Adam now. You know, like the. Because the guy. Is the yeah, an Adam. Uh, Kyle Rayner is stuck. You know, in a in a in like uh, I think in small form, so he has to come save him, and it kind of leads off there. Yay! Then we get the Blue Beetle because uh, Ted uh, Ted Cord, Cord okay. and uh, I can't remember the new uh, Blue Beetle's name. Whatever. They're working together. So you got the old and the new Blue Beetle, which is cool. I think that's awesome because they've never been alive together, and that's cool because he's teaching him how to do stuff. And then Doctor Fate comes in, he just rolls in like, "Hey, what's up, fuckers?" And Doctor Fate is like, "Who?" Do you know who you're dealing with? Blah, blah, blah. And he warns him that the scarab is bad. And Dr. Fate actually looks like Dr. Fate, not the hoodie dude. Which you know the hoodie? Damien is now uh, 13 years old. Oh, my God. So he's officially a teenager. His balls have just dropped. Yep. Sort of. And then we get Green Lantern, uh, Hal Jordan telling uh, the new Green Lantern, the female one, that she'll be working with Simon Bays. Yeah. Because he'll be all Best Green Lantern. Simon Bays. And then uh, we get... Who's this? Pandora, Pandora just gets butt fucked. Yeah, she's dead. They're like, you're gone. She's dead. That, that was Doctor Manhattan. That did that. Yep. I bet you thought. Was yep. He's just like, he's like, we don't need you. She splits open like Doctor Manhattan did with Rorschach. Yeah, she straight up left the Rorschach. And then we get like the, the Dark Side War stuff. Yeah. And 
Long all that long. stuff happening. So they're connecting the old DC universe with the new one, and we get all these characters. They're all meeting in a field to LARP. Yeah. Steel, we got Steel back, and a bunch of characters. There's Green Arrow and, and uh, Black, Black Canary are coming back together. They explain why they're back, sort of. We got Clark Kent, the actual Clark Kent, Superman and his wife, uh, and their son moving into a place. And then, yeah, Aquaman says uh, he asks Mara to marry him, which is cool. Marry me. This is a huge book. It just explains. It's have rewriting my, the universe. Have it's my opening up the universe and telling us about this universe. It's very cool. Uh, and then Wally tries to talk to his wife. She's not his wife in this universe. That was the old universe. And she doesn't remember him, and it breaks his heart. And there's a really sad moment. Oh, where she doesn't remember him, and he disappears. No. Then we got a swamp thing. Thing. Swamp thing. Swamp, swamp thing. And then he tries, and then we see Captain Boomerang, Cyborg, and Richard Grayson. Richard's like, I don't give a they shit. None of them remember him, so he moves on. And yeah. then I think, yeah, then we get a little bit of the African American Wally. The actual Wally? And then, uh, oh yeah. And then the thing where the shirts are. No, they're not sorry. No. And then Wally the... tries the Flash. This is his final attempt. If he doesn't get the Flash, then he's being deleted from this universe. Uh, and see. the Flash remembers who he is, and he says, Wally, Wally, come back. And he grabs Wally and pulls him into this reality, and Wally is back. The fucking fake Wally. But the thing is, there's already a Kid Flash in this universe, so Flash... The tells, best Kid Flash. Flash pretty much tells Wally that he has to become his own superhero and stuff. And then they make a bunch of other Flash. And then we get to the good part of the book again, Batman. With Batman. With Batman. And Batman's in his cave, and he's checking out something. And he's looking at the Joker card, and then he sees something in the wall. He sees the top letter from Thomas Wayne, too, by the way, which is awesome that they included that. He sees a little yellow uh, light. He goes and... Picks at the wall and he pulls out. It's a Watchman button. button. So awesome, possum. And it says we're being watched. Is what Batman is thinking about. Oh, sorry, Kid Flash. And it's a great movie because everyone's like, Oh my God, the Watchman. You see what's in there? It was a. Uh, and there's the epilogue yeah, with the, the epilogue fucking with the watch. Watchman. You so, gotta watch it. That's very cool. Got a watch See, there's the Watchman. There's the thing. It's very cool. They even have the blood. So they. Jeff John's amazing job. You did it again. There's a good picture of everyone. There's everybody. Yay. Fun. Wonderful. Cool. It's very cool. Uh, I can't wait to start getting to review through each character and stuff individually. Doing and these are all the... Kids. So Titans. We ha we'll be doing Titans. Uh, Flash. As Go I'll be doing Titans. Goblin will be doing Flash. I'll be doing Batman. I want to do this Team Titans too. If you You're welcome to join me if you Bat want. And then I'm doing this Green Lantern with uh, Alcatraz, and you're doing the Arrow. Green Arrow. And then Aquaman I'm doing. Wonder Woman you're doing. Wonder Woman I'm doing. I'm probably doing it with uh, Alcatraz, though, because he likes Wonder Woman. Suicide Squad I'm doing. Action Comics you're doing. Action Comics I'm doing. Well, you're welcome to do it with me, too, if you want to do Superman. Lex. And then Superman number one I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot. So, there we go. So, that was... Uh, okay. That was the rebirth this, issue. So let's talk about this book now. This book was very great. I thought it was great. It really opened up this world really well. I was very excited to read it. And so I picked this up. I got a really good deal on it. I enjoyed it. It was a great comic. Uh, I love how long they were. I wish every comic was this long. To be honest. I know they can't yeah. do that. But it was great. I love Jeff Johns. I love Gary Frank. They're a great writer and artist. They work well together. They did the Earth 1 Batman yeah, stuff. So it's really well done. Uh, what did you think of it? It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Solid statement from Goblin? I don't know. I was kind of just sitting there like, yay, everyone's origin. Oh my god, Wally. It kind of it reopens the universe. Oh my There's god. not too much to cover on. It, it, it pretty much combines the New 52 universe with our old universe, deleting some of the old stuff that we don't need, but bringing back some of the old stuff that people really miss, like steel and stuff, and... You know, Superman that apparently Superman in New 52 is void and boring. So they brought back the old Superman. And characters like that, like the Just Society of America, which I missed a lot from the New 52. They sort of brought him back, but not really at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah, it was very cool. What would you rate this comic out of 10? Um, out of 10? Yeah. I'm probably... 7. I'm going to give it a 9. I think it opened up this universe really well. I just didn't, most of the stuff, most of the storylines we're talking about, I, I, A, I already knew. 
Yeah. Or B, I didn't care. The, other, the, the reason it's, it's actually like a seven uh, is because of the Batman Watchmen stuff was really great. Yeah. I really like that. I thought that was great too. I love how they brought the Just Society of America back. I love how they brought back some of the old stuff. Because yeah, I do agree there was some stuff missing. But the New 52 wasn't too bad. And I like, I just really like how they opened up this universe to us. I would have liked, you know, maybe not just Wally flying around the world, you know. I mean, like it's, I like how they're showing off the world and stuff. But if you're not, if you haven't been caught up with the New 52, you're yeah. going to be a little lost on what's going on. But yeah, it's a really good series. Start to the new series of DC. Very good to open this up. I want to see issue two. Uh, I think it'd be good. Yeah, no, issue two's probably gonna be really good. Uh, I'm kind of. I want to know what happened with Forever Evil and the Crime Syndicate. Did that still happen, or are they restarting too? Uh, so I, I'm. I'm still. I'm left with some questions, but some answers too, which is great. A very good way to start off, and I think. Well done, Jeff Johns. You did it again. He killed Watchmen it again. stuff is amazing. I want to see more Watchmen stuff. They should start a Watchmen series. <laughs> like, not con- not connected to Batman and stuff, but on its own. Like, what happened to Dr. Manhattan after the movie and stuff. Yeah. After Watchmen. Do that. Go for it. I'm Anarchy, bringing you the chaos. And I'm Goblin Green, and that's a fucking duck. <laughs>